growth. It's our focus every day, helping kids grow as learners, leaders, and people. But we're also experiencing a different kind of growth in Denton ISD. People are moving into our district at an amazing rate. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Denton County is the sixth fastest growing county in America. On average, a new person is moving to Denton County every three minutes, and we can feel that growth in our halls. More than 32,000 students learn and grow every day in Denton ISD. That's 40% more students in our classrooms and halls now than when this year's seniors started school as kindergartners. A diverse committee of 72 community members and 14 students came together to discuss the best way to address this growth and make sure that all of our students are receiving the same educational opportunities. The committee recommended a $1.4 billion bond package to the board to address those issues. And an election has been called for Saturday, May 6th to vote on this bond package. Our growth will pay for this bond. Our current tax rate will fund all of the proposed projects. Our current Avalorum tax rate is $1.34. That's more than 19 cents lower than it was during our last bond election in 2018. It is the intent of the school board to maintain that $1.34 tax rate regardless of the election results. If you're 65 or older and have filed for the over 65 homestead exemption, your taxes are frozen and will not increase. This bond will be split into three propositions. Proposition A addresses growth, student opportunity, and safety and security. Proposition B addresses technology needs. And Proposition C addresses upgrades to the CH College Athletic Complex. Let's take a few moments to talk about Proposition A. The largest projects in this proposition include safety and security upgrades on all of our campuses and replacement campuses at the 55-year-old Jennings Elementary and the 53-year-old Borman Elementary. It also includes three new elementary schools. Elementary number 26 and number 27 would be in the Braswell Zone. Elementary number 28 would be in the Denton High Zone. Proposition A also includes High School number 5 and an Advanced Technology Center, which will address growth in the eastern portion of the district. Renovations or additional learning spaces are also part of Proposition A. The committee suggested addressing this need on 14 of our campuses. The committee also suggested adding multi-purpose indoor facilities at Denton High, Ryan, Geyer, Braswell, and the yet to be built High School Number no. 5. These facilities would be used by athletics, fine arts, physical education, and various student groups. Proposition A also includes replacing the current dirt tracks and grass practice fields at our eight middle schools with all weather tracks and turf fields. On the fine arts side, the committee asked for improvements to the performance areas at 12 campuses and new learning and practice spaces at the band hall at Ryan High. The committee also suggested playground replacements at 16 of our elementary schools. This proposition also contains security upgrades at every campus in Denton ISD. These upgrades would include security vestibules at all 43 campuses, more security cameras to limit blind spots, and panic buttons placed in various locations throughout our campuses. These upgrades would bring all 43 Denton ISD campuses up to the same level of security. Our growth has caused some of the secondary student entrances at some of our secondary campuses to become more like primary entrances. The money in Proposition A would allow us to add buzzer-controlled access to those higher traffic areas. The secondary campuses would also be outfitted with non-video sensors in every restroom to detect harmful vapors. Proposition B covers technology. Every campus in Denton ISD would be touched by the items in this proposition. The Citizens Committee suggested Promethean boards become the district standard. Out of there. We already have them in many of our classrooms. This proposition would allow every classroom in Denton ISD to have this technology. Updated laptops for every student in the district are also part of Proposition B. Proposition B also includes competition level eSports labs at all of our high schools. This proposition also contains cybersecurity upgrades. This enhanced cybersecurity would increase protection for all students and staff and improve the district's ability to monitor network activity, which would keep confidential data more secure. Proposition B also includes enhanced high-speed secure internet access. This access would be used by every student on every campus in Denton ISD. All of the safety and security upgrades in Prop A would be supported by the infrastructure upgrades in Prop B. 
Proposition C centers around the C.H. Collins Athletic Complex. The Citizens Committee proposed renovations to the press box, additional dressing rooms and storage facilities, and updated lighting for the parking lots. You can learn even more about the bond at DentonISD.org forward slash 2023 bond. Early voting begins on April 24th. Election Day is Saturday, May the 6th.